they took some valuables, data, uh, and we're in the process of determining the extent and their value of the data before we not notify their owners. And that is Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther explaining to our Lacey Crisp the extent of the ransomware attack. It's a story Lacey was the first to break last week, and she continues pressing the city for more information about the impact of this. She joins us live now from City Hall with this new twist to the problem. Lacey. Well, sources tell me the bank accounts for a couple of Columbus police officers have been hacked. Now, the mayor's office is not commenting, but they do tell me they're aware of the reports. So our members have contacted me. They're clearly concerned. You know, we were a victim of a cyber attack in uh, the city and not only the city, our members. So they're concerned about their data being out there. It was nearly two weeks ago when Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther made the decision to unplug the city from the Internet to protect more data from being stolen because of a ransomware attack. Ginther is out of town now, but earlier this week, he said in an interview, an employee downloaded a zip file that created access for a ransomware attack and that some encrypted data was taken. I was in contact with some city leaders, but in terms from the communication going from the city to the to the officers on the street, I don't know if that's kind of flowing the way it should. It's my understanding the chief is out of town this week. There are now a few reports of Columbus police officers who have had their bank accounts hacked. There's no way to tell now if it's connected to the cyber attack. If I was a member, I would assume that every single person's is potentially leaked. So go ahead and take some of those precautions to maybe stop the bleed. So far, the city has not offered any credit monitoring systems to city employees. Fraternal Order of Police President Brian Steele says officers should take it upon themselves to protect their private information. They're calling me all day saying, what should I do? Again, I tell them, monitor, monitor your credit report, monitor your finances, take some proactive steps. If you don't have LifeLock or something, monitoring device, go ahead and sign up now. If for some reason later down the road the city wants to reimburse you, that's great. And I asked for a statement from the mayor's office. They told me it's too early to comment. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.